Good morning or good afternoon to everyone. It's lesson 1-12 and we are working on angles, triangles, and quadrilaterals. Uh, we're getting into more geometry. Um, our math message is a little bit different. It's going to require you to work on your Chromebook and uh, we are going to be going to Everyday Math Online and we are going to, let me see if I can find a good spot for my face. Um, we're gonna build four different four-sided shapes with a geo board on Everyday Math Online. And then we're gonna take a screenshot and share it with me. All right, so if you're using a Chromebook, we're gonna use Shift, Control, and this little button right here. Um, I forget the name of that button for um chromebooks but anyway that button <laughs> i think it shows you the different windows uh, and that helps you take a screenshot uh, apparently uh, so give that a try see if that works if it doesn't well we can play around uh, but anyway well, let me show you really quick what this looks like uh, so when you get to everyday math online through clever which should be very easy to do uh, we are going to visit our little e-toolkit okay click on the e-toolkit doing and it will open a whole new tab or it should and give it a second to load and doo -doo -doo -doo, um i'm going to hide those tools because down here in the very very bottom it says e-tools uh those are really right where we need to go and it's they're super cool and they're very handy and they're very useful for a lot of different things you've got base 10 blocks you've got shapes and all sorts of stuff but i want you to use the geo board uh function and i want you to choose well let's go with the 10 peg that's the biggest one we have and then you can drag that up doing and it loads and we've got 10 by 10 pegs 100 pegs to work with and what i want you to do is take four different color rubber bands down here in these virtual rubber bands and drag them on to the geo board and then i want you to manipulate them and it's a little bit laggy for me but it shouldn't be too bad for you but you should make four different four-sided shapes so right now i've got a one two three four five sided shape not gonna do it not gonna work so i have to change my shape Oops, let's just, I wonder if I can just let go of it. Or I have to drag it up there to get rid of that corner. Now, do I have a four-sided shape? One, two, three, four. All right, so I've got one, and I want you to then do another with a different color, right? And you can keep it simple, you can make it complicated, you can make them super big super small, whatever you want to do, but four different four-sided shapes, okay? So when you're done with that, try taking a picture. And if you're using a Mac, you can do Command-Shift-4, and it turns into our little screenshot tool. But if you're using that Chromebook, I think it does the same thing. And it might take a picture of the whole screen, and that's totally fine. Um, but I'm going to snap a picture of that. And that's something really handy uh, on Max if you ever need to do that. So after you take that picture, I want you to find a way to send it to me. Um, and you can send it by putting it into a Google Doc and emailing it to me. You could just email it directly in the, uh, you know, in the body of the document on your Chromebook. You could possibly send it another way. I want you to try to figure that out. That's kind of like a technology homework here. 
rather than just math. Okay, so experiment. See if you can find a way to get it to me. All right. Now, after we do that, I want you to then think about, well, what kind of angles did you make with your geo board? Um, oops, gonna have to do that a little later. <laughs> um, so we have two different quadrilaterals here, four-sided shapes. Uh, but after you make all four, I want you to think about what kind of angles do we have, all right? And we're gonna talk a little bit about the types of angles now, okay? So our first type of angle that we are familiar with are acute angles. Acute angles are angles that are less than 90 degrees. Okay, so all of these are different examples of acute angles. Uh, they are anywhere from one degree all the way up to 89 degrees. They have to be less than 90 degrees. So they can even be like half a degree, but we're not gonna get too particular about that. Now, the next angle we think of is obtuse. That is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180. So these angles are all examples of obtuse angles, okay? And then, as we mentioned before, right angles. Right angles are exactly one measure, 90 degrees. And when we talk about the measurement of an angle, it's not about how long the arms are of the angle, but it's about how much, in a way, rotation you have from one side to the other. So how much of a rotation? So we could have a really long arm for this angle or really short, and it's still not gonna change the size of the angle itself. Okay, so those are the three big angles that we're gonna focus on. There are others. Um, we have, um, and when we talk about right angles, sorry, I forgot about one piece. When we talk about right angles, there's a particular word that we're gonna to wanna to really know, and it's this one right here, perpendicular, okay? Perpendicular angles are, or perpendicular means that there are two lines or two rays or two line segments that meet or cross at right angles. So when I refer to something meeting or crossing or intersecting and they are perpendicular, it means that they're crossing and meeting exactly at that 90 degree angle. So if we go back up to these angles, this right angle, these two parts, these two line segments meet at a 90 degree angle. Now, what kind of shapes do we have that might meet with uh, meet at a 90 degree angle? And what did I make here that did that as well? I have this rectangle and I also have this trapezoid and there are some 90 degree angles with this, with these two shapes, okay? So that's a really important set of vocabulary that we want to use and be familiar with. Perpendicular, meeting at a 90 degree angle, intersecting at a 90 degree angle. So those two words are really important. And from our last lesson, what another really important word was parallel, right? Going in the same direction. Okay, so that's also something that we want to think about when we talk about all of the different figures that we're looking at. Okay, so the other angles that are less common or still common, but we want to talk about, we don't really talk about as much. Um, one is a straight angle. It means it's exactly straight. It means it's 180 degrees. It is essentially like a straight line. Um, so we almost want to say it's almost like a non-angle. It's just a straight line, okay? Um, and then there's an angle that we don't really deal with a whole lot in this particular lesson, but it's something we want to be aware of and familiar. is a reflex angle. Reflex angles are angles that are greater than 180 degrees. 
but less than going all the way around at 360. So it's kind of like the other side of an obtuse or acute angle. See that? So the like opposite side, the outside of that angle. All right, so we've got this acute angle, opposite side is reflex. We got this angle obtuse, the opposite side is also considered a reflex angle. And we have all of these different examples of reflex angles here too. So these angles are really, really important for us to be familiar with and understand, okay? And one little diagram that I have here that kind of is nice to kind of visualize all of it together is that from this to this is acute, this to this obtuse, this to this is reflex. And I would even say that we missed something here. We could say, what about the straight angle? Uh, but then we also have our right angle exactly at 90 degrees. Okay, so lots of these figures are really going to be helpful uh, to think about and look at. And I'll try to share them with you too. Okay, but I'm going to also share something that's really neat and fun to look at. And it's this website on angles. I will put this in with our assignment. Okay. And it is a nice, fun little page, the Math is Fun site, that gives us a breakdown of all the different types of angles. And you can actually click on each link, and it kind of gives you a breakdown of those kinds of angles and pictures. And that's some of where I found these pictures, too. But the thing that I wanted to show you is this cool little tool here where I can move my cursor and kind of change the size of the angle and it changes the name of it too along with it. So as you can see, acute goes all the way up to 89, oh, 89, come on. Ah, uh, it jumps straight to 90. But yes, once we get to 90, it becomes a right angle. And then as we keep going, we have obtuse, and eventually it gets to being a straight angle. And then any more than that, it becomes a reflex angle. Pretty cool, huh? Um, so that is a little tool that I'm going to share with you. And you can just kind of play around with that and check it out. Okay, so after we do all that, then we'll finally get into working on lesson one. 12. And most of this focuses on angles, not necessarily the triangles and quadrilaterals, but the angles and how to build them. Okay, and so you will be needing to use, if you're going to use a cami, the drawing tools. I highly suggest you use the line tool for connecting some of these dots rather than just freehand the drawing. Um, if you are using paper, use a straight edge so that the lines are nice and straight, okay? And it's just this one page, uh, and we will work on this as well in class, uh, but I also want you to see how much you can get done. And if you finish it all, I will have some other enrichment activities that will help you practice your work on angles. and. We'll also dabble a little bit with triangles and quadrilaterals in our lesson. Okay, so I hope to see you soon and have a great day.